Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome in. In this one, I wanted to ask the question, and this has actually been somewhat of a talking point amongst Jets fans, does the level of commitment from Aaron Rodgers matter to you? Does it sway your opinion at all when you're thinking about a potential New York Jets Aaron Rodgers acquisition? Or is it just like, ah, it is what it is, Aaron's going to be Aaron, and we're just, I'm fine with it as long as we get him in the building, I'm cool. You know, because there's arguments uh, that could be made on both sides. And look, Aaron Rodgers at the end of the day is a future Hall of Famer. Um, this is a guy who has the potential to walk into any NFL franchise and put the team on his back and lead him to the playoffs. Like he is that good. Despite him being at the end of his career, despite his age, he is still one of the best quarterbacks in the entire game. He makes throws, man. Like he, you know, even last year, dealing with the broken thumb, having like somewhat of a down season, uh, Green Bay missing the playoffs, he was ripping off throws that NFL stars dream of making, right? He is still, still lethal at the quarterback position. But there has been somewhat of an issue with, I mean, obviously these past couple of seasons, there's been frustration between Rodgers and the front office uh, before he signed the extension. Um, but he is, like, there's a big question mark out there surrounding Aaron involving commitment, right? How invested is he in the team, in the staff, in the vision, in the identity, or is he just kind of there, Aaron Rodgers, bigger than the team mentality? I'm not saying he is or he isn't. I'm just saying that that is somewhat of a concern out there. I mean, we're talking about uh, Jimmy Garoppolo. We're talking about Ryan Tannehill, Derek Carr. I mean, there's tons of quarter, t tons of guys that are expected to become available, uh, if not already available, that you're not really talking, uh, really asking these questions about. But with Aaron, it seems to be, again, a talking point. Will Aaron buy in? Is it, let's just hypothetically say, you know, he gets traded to the New York Jets. If he's skipping OTAs, right? And look, it's voluntary. I don't really have a problem with players skipping voluntary OTAs. It is what it is. But I, I think with Aaron Rodgers, when you're talking about a trade, when you're talking about a brand new quarterback, first time playing for a new team and looking at the New York Jets roster, it's really, really young overall. To me, it doesn't hurt to attend voluntary OTAs, if that makes sense. Obviously, a, you know, a 39, 40-year-old quarterback isn't going to have to lose sleep over like an offensive install, especially coming from Nathaniel Hackett. But, you know, at the same time, you kind of want the guy, you want the star quarterback in there to build the chemistry, to, to build the continuity with his new teammates. Um, will that bother you, right, if Rodgers decides to skip it? right? Whatever, whatever it is, 10 practices, 10 OTA sessions, and Rodgers doesn't show up for any of them. And then, you know, once like man, the mandatory stuff starts rolling, then he's there. Uh, there, you know, even we can even point to last off season there, it was kind of an issue, right? They brought in uh, Watson from North Dakota state. They brought in Dobbs from uh, Nevada, but two receivers that I really, really liked. And I remember that there was uh, a storyline that they were kind of struggling with the line of scrimmage, the offense in general, in the early parts of camp. I actually got to try to find an article on it because I, I know there was something with Aaron Rodgers here. Okay, so here's a cool little quote. During the nine OTAs that Rodgers skipped, the base offense was being installed by Coach Matt LaFleur. At that point, Watson and Dobbs weren't ready to handle all the line of scrimmage adjustments that are hallmarks of the Rodgers-led offense. Would Watson, for instance, been ready for a red zone adjustment to a concept he just learned? And then we got a direct quote from Rodgers here. He said, I rely on the coaching staff to pass on that message as we're learning the offense. And then I'm kind of the 202 professor. They've got to get kind of the base concepts. And when I come in, we have the offense outside of the paper offense. Now, in regards to the paper offense, which he's talking about, he's basically just saying that, you know, we have our offense on paper, we know what we want to accomplish, but it's a different story. Once we hit the field, once we have guys in the system, then there's that second step, right? There's that second step or that second learning curve, uh, if you will. But the bottom line is this. If Rodgers were to get traded to the New York Jets and he wants to do something like this, right, where he skips voluntary OTAs, would it bother you? Would it deter you away from A-Rod considering that this is going to be a high-pressure season, a crucial season for Robert Sala and co.? Um, you know, this it's no secret that this season specifically for this Jets regime is, to me, going to make or break them. I mean, if the Jets get four wins next year, 
I don't know what the future is going to be looking like, right, as far as general manager and head coach go. Um, you know, there's talks that, hey, if the Jets miss the playoffs, Sala could be gone. So anything could happen at this point. But I will say this. I will say this. In If you want to play devil's advocate and look at it maybe from the, uh, the, uh, the opposite end of the spectrum, if Rodgers tells the Packers, hey, I'm done, trade me away, or maybe he gets the sense that the Green Bay Packers don't really want him there anymore, and they're like, uh, yeah, kind of, we would prefer to trade you, Rodgers is reading the room, and he's like, fine, I'll leave, would he essentially approve a trade to the New York Jets, get to that team, right, again, late in his career, his legacy is on the line, um, unfolding just like Brett Favre did, or Brett Favre's career did, does he want to squander that opportunity or is he going to have not necessarily a wake up call because it's not like he's skipping regular season games or anything like that but is he going to have that change of heart saying like you know what I just got traded by the Green Bay Packers and part of it the majority of it was because uh you know the majority of the reason why is because they wanted to move on from me I'm proving everybody wrong I'm, go I'm going to be doing exactly or everything I can uh to make sure that they regret that decision so two ways to kind of look at it here. Uh, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. I actually did a video on this uh, about a month ago, ended up just never posting it. Uh, but I figured, you know, right before the combine, hopefully we'll get a decision soon, maybe this week, next week on what Aaron Rodgers future uh, holds here. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. And as always, go Jets.